Morning. Still looking for some morels. Last year, little strap right there. Last year, the first ones we found are right down here. I think we're still too early. Then you see a pine cone. <laughs> it sure looks like one from a quick glance. You know, this little patch of twigs here that got burned up. Right here, last year I found, I don't know, five or ten right here, this little section. I like to say you see a mush or a pine comb, and you think there we go, but nope, just a pine cone. It's kind of a weird deal too. You almost have to get your eyes adjusted to them. Once you find one. And it seems like you find a bunch. But until you find that first one, your eyes aren't adjusted right and you don't find any at all. That cabin back there was Neil Allen's cabin. I got a couple of videos on that. I found a milk can no. full of furs a couple of years back. A board nailed to a tree. I don't know what that is. But he was a trapper back here, lived back here. I think he died around 1971 or two from what I've been able to find out. And it was a gunshot wound. The official verdict was that he did himself in. But there's plenty of folks I've talked to that said that he didn't do that. There was another guy back here that didn't get along with him. And they were kind of feuding and whatnot. And uh, I don't know, there's, there's rumors that he was murdered there's rumors it was suicide so it's hard to tell which I never met the guy but uh, I was told he wasn't a very nice fella most people didn't like him but I don't know kind of neat I found that milk can full of furs and I found some traps that belonged to him after the forest fire you know kind of fun there's some more little mushrooms what they are though yeah I was just looking at that you were saying lots of little brown mushrooms What? I hate pine cones disguising themselves as morels. I know. I saw a couple of pine cone morels too. And then the rock morel. Yeah, mo rock morels. <laughs> rock morels are especially tough to eat. Well, not for the rock monsters. Yeah, there's lots of these guys. <laughs> they are. They might be the kind with the silly inside them. <laughs> and they might not. Huh? <laughs> and, they might not. <laughs> and they might not, Cindy says. 
I wonder if those other precursors to those bullet ones that you were finding. Yeah, that could be. It could be. It could be that um, maybe they're just not big enough yet and they'll turn into something we recognize. Yeah, I don't know. Nice up here. Nobody up here except us. Nice and quiet. Spring runoff's pretty hard. The snow is trying to melt. Dogs are having a ball. We've seen a couple of deer today, and that's it though. Not much out here. Dots. Dottie. You having fun? <laughs> you having fun? Good girl. That stick's been wedged between these trees for quite a few years. It's kind of funny, it's cut off flat on top, too. Been wanting to come up here with the metal detector. Cindy just picked up a part of an old can or something. There's a lot of junk up here. It really should be hauled out. But, um, you never know. I found those traps, and I'm sure there's some other good stuff up here and waiting to be found. A couple of years ago, I was up here and I was inside of that cabin. My truck was parked out on the main road. There's some snow and caught something out of the corner of my eye. A red fox ran right down the road here. Pretty neat to see. Ready? You guys ready? You ready? <laughs> Henri dogs, especially that stubby-legged one. She's Henri. She's the she's the evil corgi. Bring it here, everybody. Love. <laughs> Wonder why it is. <laughs> Look at this goofball. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why it is dogs like to chase sticks. Better than chasing park cars. Huh? Better than chasing park cars. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, Lily and Dottie come from a friend of ours who breed them. Yeah, they're both. How are they related? Dottie. Well, Lily is Dottie's aunt. Which. The black one's Lily, that one's Dottie. Hard to tell, being that one's a corgi and one's not, but she's actually got corgi blood in her, but she's got legs. That one's a mutant. <laughs> she's not a mutant. She is a mutant. So, Dot, Lily's dad was Hager, and that would be um, Dottie's grandfather. Oh, okay. Ha. Huh. The Hager line, as we call it. That's... What do you got? Here, you gotta give it to me. Here, no, give it to me. There we go. Good girl. Well, she can nearly jump. <laughs> She's a yumper. <laughs> and then there's Cora. She never wants to play. She is a good dog. She's just kind of a strange one. He's the fun police. Yeah. That.
<laughs> that tree didn't break off. It just bent over and laid in the road. It's Sasquatch. It's telling you not to come any further. Yeah, Cindy says it's Sasquatch. Going up this direction, we gotta go over another pass. And when me and Jeff were up here not very long ago, last last week I think it was, with his track four wheeler, we couldn't make it over. Well, we did, but you couldn't make it over with a pickup. We did it with his track four wheeler. But uh, that was a week ago, and it's been kind of warm, mostly. I'm hopeful we'll make it over. Otherwise, we gotta turn around. Kind of a long ways back the way we came. Just past Cindy Corner. There's a little bit of snow. <laughs> so why do we call it that, Cindy? Because Gary thought I was lost, but I wasn't lost. I knew where I was. Nobody else did, but I did. That's a good long story, but uh, the short of it is that Cindy wandered off. I ended up having to call search and rescue. We found her at 10 o'clock at night <laughs> on that corner. <laughs> she still claims she wasn't lost. Well, I wasn't lost. I knew exactly where I was. I was walking. Figured by the time I got to the top to five corners, I'd wait there for Gary. <laughs> There's a lot of people awful worried about her. Oh, I don't think we're going any further up this road. Dang it. It's a long ways back. We're almost to the top too, but I don't dare go any further. If we get stuck, then it won't be good. Oh shoot! We're only a bit a quarter mile from the from the top of the summit. Looks like somebody got stuck up there. Yeah, it looks like right there. Like Cindy just said. The, Looks like car tracks right there. Somebody got stuck right there. They almost made it through. If we can get to that point, we might make it, but I kind of doubt it. The thing I don't like the most about this time of year you, you want to go places and you just can't make it. You try and try and you, you just can't. No. You getting up too or just the dogs? I'm just going to let Lily play in the Grab that stick. In the door handle. The dog's been biting bushes but... Little pussy willow's blooming out. It's gotta be spring, huh? Well, shoot. The summit is probably half a mile up from here. I just tried to go a little bit further. <laughs> we ain't gonna make it. So... We gotta go back, which is probably 20 miles. <laughs> Dang it. What do you think, Cindy Lou? 
think you should have thought this out better. <laughs> think so? Yeah, I do. Well, we, we almost made it. Yeah, we didn't. Now we got to go all the way back. Yeah. upon this road and as we, I looked over and I saw a cinnamon bear right there right below it was probably about 20 feet or so I jumped out with the the rifle bear season is on just in time to see him go right up through there looked like a pretty big bear but never gave me a shot just as well we got other critters in the freezer that we have to have tanned and taxidermy bills are expensive anyway we eat the meat but still gotta have the hide tanned 